What's up, ladies and gents? It's Idaho Dub with another NCAA Road to Glory video. This video, it's the last game of ID3's junior season, well, regular season game. I'm assuming we're going to a bowl since we've only lost a couple games. We are taking on the Idaho Vandals. Vanderbilt taking on the Vandals. Idaho Dub facing Idaho. I mean, what what a treat, huh? Am I right? <laughs> Yes, we are up in Moscow, Idaho, in the Kibbe Dome. For those of you who aren't familiar with Idaho's sports stadiums, uh, two of the colleges in Idaho have domes, mainly because... Actually, I don't really know. I guess it's probably because there's a lot of snow, but there's usually the season's almost over by the time northern Idaho would get snow. But anyways, this is the Kibbe Dome. They have a lot of sporting events in this dome. So the, the state football championships usually rotate between the University of Idaho and Idaho State. And then occasionally it's in Boise, but usually by the time like fall comes around, it's colder. So they try to keep it on the dome, you know, pick up the – so people can go in there and, and run fast. It's kind of fun. I remember playing in the dome when I was in high school. We played at Idaho State, which is in Pocatello. That's the home of the Bengals. I'm giving you so much information about Idaho today. <laughs> Vandy's ranked number 10th in the country. ID3 up the gut. Ooh, boom. My man, breaking records. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I put up a couple uh, Skyrim videos recently, and I realized that nobody really puts up Skyrim videos anymore because that game's been out for like half a decade. I don't know. I just have so much Skyrim footage, I thought it would be cool to put some of it up since I'm, you know, going to blow. I'm just going to try to blow through all the video footage that I have recorded of other games while I'm also putting up the remainder of these NCAA games. So be prepared for a lot of content over the next few months as I prepare to unload everything. I'm going to give it my all before I retire the channel. My man Parker with the grab. Nice grab, baby. Nice grab. Speaking of baby, this is a terrible segue, but I forgot to mention this happened... I had a very interesting thing happen to me about, I guess I would say, a month ago and then also... About a week ago, it happened again. So about a month ago, I got a phone call from a uh, area code that's in California. It's not uncommon for me to get random phone numbers, you know, whatever telemarketers on my cell. So I never, I don't, if I don't know the number, I'm not answering it, man. I screen every call. So I get a voicemail, and it's from some lady, and she's calling about a nomination that I got. Oh, look at that ID three breaking some records. Who better to do it against than the Vandals? But I got a call. I guess somebody nominated me to be on The Bachelorette or The Bachelor, one or the other. Uh, it was somebody from ABC. So she was calling to see if I was interested in doing an interview. I immediately wanted, one, see if this was a scam. So I checked out the number, and it looks like it is not a scam. Two, I immediately called every friend that I knew that thought this would be funny and submit my name into this. So I didn't respond. I didn't call her back. And then a week ago, another person calls me, a different person, and they asked me again if I would be interested in interviewing for The Bachelor or Bachelorette. The first time they just said The Bachelorette, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to go back and listen to the voicemail. And I guess I could play it for you guys. Maybe that's what I should do is just is play the voicemail. Man, you don't need to hear it. Anyways, so... This time, though, they were flying up to Port. They were going to happen to be in Portland. And so they were wondering if I would want to interview and maybe be on the show. I still definitely I have a few issues with the show. One, I have I think I've seen about part of a Bachelor, and that was like, I don't know, several years ago. I'm pretty sure it was probably the first one when it was really popular. I didn't even know they were still doing the show. Um, I figured that they had some sort of spinoff of it, but I guess they are still doing the show. And I just don't, I would never do it. One, I have a job, so and I'm pretty sure you probably have to leave and film for like a few weeks some, or a month or two. I don't really know how long it is. But anyways, I decided to take a look into the interview process. I'm like, what does this interview process entail? So I don't know what it entails for The Bachelor. I only looked at The Bachelorette. Ooh, Vandy just laying the hurt down on Idaho. I looked into it, 
and apparently it's like some sort of grueling six to eight hour process. It's like a full day thing. You get interviewed by a bunch of people. You go through like a psych evaluation, all this stuff. And I guess that they do a lot of, they like allow you to like drink while you're doing this. So basically what they're trying to do is get you loosened up and get you to spill some information. And yeah, I guess it's just a, a really, really grueling interview process. That sounds terrible. I get why they do it. They don't want a bunch of psychos on the show. This isn't the flavor of love, you know. This is <laughs> this is an ABC show, which I'm pretty sure there's probably so crazy people on there, but that was a little bit too much for me. Not that I was entertaining the idea, but I was like, eh, you know, what if I decided to? I definitely couldn't do the Bachelorette though. If I if like somebody had a gun in my head and they're like, you need to interview for one of these, I'd rather be the Bachelor. I'd rather have my choice. <laughs> of women versus being a contest. I'm way too competitive. I'd be super pissed if I didn't get chosen. And I'd probably say something really hurtful. <laughs> so that's uh that's my bachelor bachelorette story, guys. It's been uh it's been it's been interesting trying to track down the culprit because all my friends, uh, you know, adamant they're adamant that they did not submit anything. And my I asked my mom because I was like, Mom, are you mad? Are you trying to get me on a show? My mom doesn't watch that kind of crap, though. So I was really hesitant. She was like, no, I w- she didn't do that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to start tracking it down. Haven't talked to my grandma yet. Maybe uh, maybe Grams is in on that. All right. Third quarter, 28-7, ID3 rolling out. Ooh. Look at that. 20- oh, man, we are putting the beat down on Idaho. Feels good though, man. Feels good to finally play an easier school. I'm not saying that you know Idaho is an easy, an easy contest, but uh, yeah, they're not very good. <laughs> Third and nine, pump fake, dub to Newton, Cam Newton Jr. Just kidding. I have no idea who that is. 170 yards passing, two touchdowns. ID three. He's got a, what a rushing touchdown also. Oh, a new school record. It's two records, isn't it? Passing yards, I forgot what the earlier one was. Man, look at that. ID3 breaking records all over the place. I like it. He's a record setter. And that's going to do it, man. Coach yanked me. Got to gotta keep me ready for the bowl game. ID3 wraps up his regular junior season with a victory over Idaho. Man, feels good. That is a packed house. I do not think that the Kibbe Dome is usually getting that full. That's maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I've, I've been wrong once before in my life. ID3 is your player of the game. 139 yards on the ground, 170 passing, or what was that? 180 something passing. Pretty good day. Pretty solid day. We'll see if he uh, if he gets any Heisman consideration. I doubt it. Final scores 42 to 14. Looks like the backups did a little bit of work. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, uh, bad bitch with some pang of lips Passing on a joint to her friend saying take a hit Real smooth, Anita Baker